Hey guys, this is Mr. JJ. Today I'll be showing you the Weight Championship between Bruce Lee and Mike Tyson. I hope you guys will like it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. With much fanfare, here he is, Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson steps inside the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight tonight. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the floaties are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this one. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice shot there by the champ. Tyson gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Set the pace and hit it first. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Tyson. Well, missed on that one. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on throw. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. 
Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Tyson. Oh, Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big left hand there. I need you to pay attention. Oh! And a nice left hand there on the inside. And yet another hook connected there by Tyson. Three minutes to go here, round one. All right, so an opportunity goes by. Oh, man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. We're well, taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on the oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. Here might be. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Oh, big left hand. He's not okay. He's not okay. Shots there. Oh. Yeah. oh, he postured up for that one as the elbow gets through. Right into side control. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this. Tyson's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it, but now he's got to settle him if he wants to finish the fight. Still in hot pursuit of the submission move. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. 45 seconds remain in the round. Tyson gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Hard shots landing on both sides here. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, oh, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two on the way. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big left hook there. He's up 
the jab landed there by Tyson. Huge block there. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shape. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Tyson's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly. Missed on the right hand. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, That he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Lee's now going with their shoot. Oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. Big left hand. Punishing kick there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked at the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, he got it. Beautiful diving strike lands. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Tyson. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Good fight here under two to go. Lee gets back up again. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Right eye, oh, huge strike lands there, DC. Landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot. The and back to his feet. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. He's getting oh! oh! He's trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. He's caught on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, back to the schools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. You're cut up good. The ref wants to stop this fight. I need you to show something. You have to protect yourself. Let's get this fight to the all right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. 
Yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots. One big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his fight. cheek. I'm just saying. Ready. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks. Oh, there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about it. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had... I mean, come on, DC. Mike Tyson with this DMX intro backdrop. I'm anxious as if I'm fighting. This is a huge moment for the history of mixed martial arts and for the International Boxing Hall of Famer, Mike Tyson. It all works together. It really just all works together whenever you watch Mike Tyson from the song to the, the look to the bobbing of the head to the posse. Iron Mike Tyson is just one of those guys that draws you in and he is bringing a lot of new eyes to the UFC octagon. He can wrestle a little bit too, John, so don't be surprised if on the first shot, Mike Tyson hits him with the big sprawl to defend his leg. Only thing I can guarantee you, he's not going to be taking any bites of cauliflower here <laughs> in the octagon tonight. We're certainly happy to have Mike Tyson. Let's see how it goes. exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mike Tyson! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson. The flurry is coming. Look for him to use that signature peekaboo style to try to get inside. Has been vulnerable to leg kicks, though, since he transitioned to mixed martial arts. He's worked hard on the takedown defense. We'll see if Tyson can keep this fight upright here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic challenge. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh! Hands up! Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected the action, absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Just misses with that one. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Body shot there. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh! Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Another pinpoint counter. He's hurt bad. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Clean left punch followed by the right. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Under two minutes here to go in round one. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, 
sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Well, the forecast is true. Goes back to the hook shot, but unable to land. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the island. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. He's got to start to protect it. Oh, and that kick is blocked. 20 seconds left. Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. There it is again. Look at that. Just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Nice defense to block that punch. Well, it takes a very good striker to be able to land going forward and moving backward. And as you see the numbers there, the counter striking. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice counter left there. Looking to land the right just out of range. So he's oh, oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Today, great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing an amazing job. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. Try to chase down that finish. Big right hand. Oh! Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his... Oh! Oh, that's it! Oh, my God! I mean, you got to be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean... Knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that.
Oh, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but.